Happy Tuesday! You are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And tonight is a dreary night here in New York. Um, it is uh, pouring outside, actually. When I came out to come into my studio here, uh, my glasses, I need windshield wipers because uh, the glasses got all wet. And um, it's a great sound, though. I don't know you know, who else enjoys that, but there's no better sound than listening to, to rain, I think. I, I just, I love listening to the rain. Uh, it's very soothing, but I have to wake up now, so I can't go into like you know sleepy mode. But that's what I uh, I enjoy listening to the rain. I'm sure um, many of us out there do enjoy that. There's a lot of those like uh, meditation things that have the rain and thunder and all of that. So totally cool. So anyway, tonight I don't know. I have like anybody that knows me knows that I have like these like aha moments a lot and I have like these brainstorms and it's my mind is a very scary place so I just like something gets in my head I'm like I gotta do it so I had this thought that I would do a real interactive show and be able to give back to all of our listeners Right. Because a lot of times I've said this before, I listen to a lot of the DJs on the station and everybody, they all get to do shout outs. So when people are on the feed, they're like, you know, Gina's in the building and, you know, whatever the case. And it kind of sucks because I don't really get the chance to do that with everybody. I do sometimes go into the feed, but when I have a guest in particular, it's very difficult for me to read comments respond and also give attention to my guests so anybody that's ever done this before it's a live show I am not reading a script um and sometimes my phone goes off sometimes uh, somebody's messaging me somebody's whatever and I have to keep my train of thought and keep talking and not sound like a complete idiot um you know while trying to do six other things so you know, I always feel bad because I love each and every one of you and I appreciate when you guys put your input on the feed. It just, you know, makes it that much better. I like to know that you guys are with me and that you're enjoying whatever content I'm bringing to you. Um, you know, so that feedback means more to me than you know. So please don't ever think that because I don't always shout people out um, that I, you know, you're I mean, you matter and I appreciate it and I thank each and every one of you. So tonight what I wanted to do was I want everybody to post on the feed. So right now we are live on MiamiMikeRadio.com and we are live in my Facebook group, um, which is Real Talk with Karen Stacy Facebook group. So on that feed is where I would like you guys to interact so what I'd like you to do is post your, um, I'd like you to post your business card and I would like you to post um, your website. See, like right now, somebody just sent me a message and it's, I, I, I first of all, it blinged, which is terrible, but um, then, uh, you know, I hope you guys didn't hear that. I apologize. So um, anyway... Let's get our cards going. Let's tell me who you are and tell me what you do. Because like I said, um, one, okay, uh, okay. So um, I'm not sure why am I bleeping here. I really apologize. Um, Courtney, if you could please not, uh, let's, I want to try to concentrate here. Um, so let me see what's going on. Okay. Um I apologize. So, okay. Uh, to be able to interact with all of you and to be able to learn um, who you are and the impact that what you do has on our life. So, um, 
that's why I want to bring this to the to to all of you so that I am able to um, promote you and also see what it is that um, you do and what you bring to the table. So, you know, a lot of us, so many of us work to live, right? Because you have to have a job to make money. And, um, you know, you don't always love your job, right? Uh, a lot of people work, I don't know, crazy hours now, right? 10, 12 hours a, a day now is kind of what, what people do at this point, which is insane. And, um, you know, they don't get a chance to really live, right? So I know I've met a lot of people in my time and they always say that, you know, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So I think that that is a huge uh, thing to keep in mind. I know some of us aren't always as fortunate to have uh, jobs that we really love. Um, and so... You know, you work to survive so you can pay your bills. But I think that when you are in a, a job where you make a difference, uh, I think it makes a difference in your world. So um, I'd like to know what kind of a difference you make in the world and uh, how it can benefit myself or my listeners. Um, you know, and I just always want to remind you, as always, right, Um you know, tomorrow is never promised. So I understand that a career is very important, more important to some than others. But keep in mind that, um, you know, you have to have a balance. I mean, I I, I, I tell this story. Uh, I always say, you know, on the eighth day and on the 25th hour is when we take that time. And... You know, I, I, my husband worked like 12 hour days, seven days a week. He died on a Saturday. Guess when he started his vacation? Yep, Monday. So he never even took the vacation because he didn't make it that far. So I just remind people of these things, uh, you know, take the vacation you know, if you got to play hooky a day, play hooky. If you're going to be with your family or sometimes you just need a mental health day. Um, you know, it's so important in life to balance and, and not to let your your job take over. You know, you need to be able to still live your life. Like I said, I think it's fabulous to have a job that, you know, is important to you and that you love. But I think it's always good to have that balance um, and not miss out. So the fun thing is, is that today I have a bunch of people that are um, calling in and um, they are going to talk about what they do and what they bring to the table. So before I do that, I see that some people jumped on um <laughs> yes, Anthony Mangini is on the feed right now, my 19th favorite DJ. So he just said he's a he's a DJ. Um and yes, we have a lot of talented people um that are all around us. So, um you know, you're going to list you're going to talk to a few of them. Actually, we have a surprise. I, I do have my 19th favorite DJ. He's going to be calling in later on today. Um, I, you know what? I really am excited because a lot of people really had, um, you know, a lot of positive things uh, to say. Like a lot of people wanted to come on the show today, and I'm, I'm actually juggling to make sure I can get people on. So if this works, um, I'm happy to do it again. So just in case you watch the show, I, and I also let me also say this: there are a lot of people that are not comfortable speaking especially speaking like publicly um so that's the other reason why if you jump on the facebook live feed and you put it out there um first of all other people can read it so they know who and what you do 
And um, if I get the chance to, I will read it out as well. I never have an issue. If you ever want me to discuss something and you're not comfortable with it being on the air, anonymity is always huge for me. Um, And I am happy to share whatever I can and I will be your voice. I have no problem doing that. So please, you know, I want you guys to post uh, your business card, like I said, post the website um, so that people can find you. And of course, anybody that finds anybody from here, just mention, hey, I, I saw you, you know, posted something on Real Talk and I wanted to, you know, check in with you. So that was, um, that's my two and a half cents. And like I, I did say, I see a lot of people that kind of jumped in on the feed and were in agreement with uh, what I was saying. And yeah, it's it's very true. You know, I like I said, it's great to have a, a, a great job, but it's also great to go on vacation. It's also great to take a mental health day. All of these things are very, very important and you need to keep a balance in life with everything. Um, quick story, actually, before uh, we get to our phone callers, again, going with life is short, right? In this past couple of days, Again, I see things flashing in front of me. Last Friday, um, I was driving my son to school and Fridays are like what I call like my day off. So I kind of like I'll drive him like in his pajama, in my pajamas and I got, I take the dog with me, I take him to school and that's like my day to do whatever I need to do for myself. And um, um, I was just at the corner of my block. And my dog was making noise and I didn't know what the hell she was whining about. And I looked and I saw somebody by the bus stop. So I said, oh, okay, she's, you know, she sees a person there. So she's letting me know there's a person there. And then all of a sudden I hear my son going, no, no, he's going to, no, what, no. And then I turn around, I look at him and he turns white as a ghost. I had no, and he screamed. I had no idea what happened. I turned back around and I looked and there was a body on the floor, on the ground. And my son bursts into tears. And I had no, I mean, I realized, I guess he got hit, I, you know, but I didn't see it. My son, my poor 10 year old son had to witness this so not only did he watch his father but now he watched this person get hit who flew up in the air shoes fell off he went down so we learned that he did not um he was alive at the scene but my son was unbelievable um he yelled for me to call 911 we waited to speak to people because I think he was one of the only witnesses. Um, and he spoke to the officer like a true gentleman. Um, it was it was just crazy. And he, you know, had like, you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome from it because he kept seeing this over and over again. Because, you know, how many of us see something like that, right? Where just the guy's walking across the street and all of a sudden he flies up in the air and he's on the ground. And the craziest thing, which is what life is so freaking crazy, is that cars are driving around the fucking body. I mean, like, are you kidding me? And beeping the horn because it's such a grave inconvenience that there's a body in the road. So it just goes to show you how short life is. And so, you know, as I watch that and I watch them driving by and my son is watching this, I'm like, Jesus Christ. So that was one incident and that was on Friday. Today, I was going to pick him up from school and there was a car on top of the guardrail, literally all four wheels and it was elevated on top of the guardrail. I have no idea if they were okay or not, but it just reminds you that, you know what, your mind and your business and in a split second, everything changes. So just keep that in mind. And since tonight is about promoting and, 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 you know, how we make our money and all of these things, please keep in mind that, like I said, keep it balanced because tomorrow is not promised. So you must live each day And I know we all need money for the rainy days, but guess what? Sometimes there is no rainy day. So you got to live a little bit and you got to enjoy what you do. And always kindness, you know, I I can't say that enough. Anyway, um, 
I didn't mean to go off on a tangent, but I just really wanted you guys to, you know, I want to put that into perspective because like I said, on the 25th hour and on the eighth day, where are you? So, you know, that's my two and a half cents. Anyway, um, you guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And so, you know, how could I do a show promoting without the queen of promotion, Miss Tia Maria? So we are going to call Miss Tia Maria. And she is going, for any of you that live under a rock and don't know who she is, she will introduce herself and um, we'll learn more about some of her uh her promos and events, right? So here we go. I'm going to give her a call now. And like I said, guys, this is all live. So um, this is how we do this. And let's see if everybody... All right. Let's see. Hi. See, look at that. She's a pro. Hi, Tia. (laughs) I was actually on the phone with Frank, but I saw you calling. I said, let me get Karen. (laughs) See ya, Frank. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> we gotta, Don't want to be ya. We got to do the hashtag that, that Anthony Mangini always does, right? What's the hashtag? Poor Frank. <laughs> Poor Frank. I don't know why he says that. He usually says that when he's surrounded by women and like, you know, hanging out in, in a pool, 85 degree weather. Yes, I know. He's got it rough. <laughs> <laughs> are we on now? We are. We are live. Okay. We are live on the radio. Okay, because I'm not watching Chicago PD. Oh I didn't start it until 9 o'clock because I don't know. Everybody knows that I'm obsessed with um, Hank Voigt. Do you ever watch Chicago PD? No. No clue. Oh, my gosh. It's Hank Voigt. He's, he is so, he's so hot. <laughs> so I chose. So I decided to go on your show before I watch Chicago PD. I watch that at 9 o'clock. Oh. You are the best, Tia. <laughs> Am I the first one, or do you have somebody on before me? Because I was waiting for your call. You are my first. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Yes, you are my first. We, you know, we got to start it off with a bang. So right. it- the 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 purpose of my show tonight is um to you know kind of give back a little bit and um uh you know promote everybody. Um, and let the listeners know who people are and what they got going on. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you've been on the show a few times, but you know, for anybody that's tuning in for the first time, please tell everybody who you are. Okay. I, my name is Tia Maria Montemiro. It's so hot. I'm so used to like asking people questions. If somebody asks me questions, I'm going to like, clam up um well i my i have two businesses i actually a lot of people that don't know that i am a um we own real estate in the city in manhattan so i manage all my properties in in city i've been doing that for about 27 years so that's what my real work is during the daytime um and i'm doing it so long that you know, after a while, even though I love what I do, it gets, you know, it sort of gets not boring, but you, you do it so well that, you know, you can get things done so quickly that you have the rest of the day left, you know, to do other things. So I created about 10 years ago, we, um, I started events by Tia Maria. And uh, that is a, those are social gatherings that I have in Westchester. I have it in Manhattan and I have it in New Jersey um, where I get well-known DJs to come to like upscale venues and is dancing all night. Um, my guests get all dressed up, usually to a, to a theme or to like a color theme that I choose. And uh, we just dance the night away. And uh, I do a lot of them here. Locally here, you know, Yonkers and Westchester uh, in uh, White Plains. So I'll get into what I'm doing Saturday night if you have any other questions as far as what I do. Well, yeah, I mean, we so basically um, Tia is um, she she promotes and does um, my own events, her own events um, right. with, uh, you know, different entertainment um, and Tia is a very detailed oriented, uh, human. 
And I see you should have asked you what I did. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just Yours adding. Sounds better. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it sounds good so far. I'm adding. Yes. And okay. Yes, I'm adding to it. But yeah. So, right. um, you know, and and so for anybody that uh, is in the Westchester um, vicinity, although you do do things now in Florida as well, right? You have yes, something Del Rey, up. yep. That's where Anthony Mangini and Miami Mike and all the, I think Liz Lombardo's down there. There's Ray Price. We have our friends that just moved down there, Mel and Camille. Yep. So we're going to be in Del Rey November 8th at Salt 7, and that's in uh, in Del Rey. Uh, we're going to be having a little black dress party. It's just a gathering that we get people. There's no pressure. There's nothing that, you know, you got to get all decked out to go there. It, we just meet casually near the bar. Usually about 30 people, 35 people go there, and then we go for about an hour or two, have a couple of drinks, and then everybody just scatters. Uh, but it's nice to see everybody, sure. you know? So I've been doing that now for the past couple, like this is maybe my second year that I'll be doing that. So we'll be down in Del Rey on November 8th, which is in two weeks. Okay. So Del Rey, Salt 7, meet near the bar at 7.30 p.m. Okay. And, and then wait, continue. What else you were saying I was doing? That was good. Well, <laughs> you said I do it. You yeah. sound so good. <laughs> Why, thank you. Maybe I should have a talk show. <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> Maybe. Um, well, so now, uh, again, going back to, you know, she she does, Tia does definitely do things a little more, um, like she mentioned, upscale. In the manic state. The manic state. The manic, M-A-N-I-C. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Over the edge. Right. And, you know what I usually do? I spend all the money that usually comes in at the door. How's that? Plus more. Right. Well, you know, and this is your baby and this is what you enjoy doing. Yes. And, uh, you know, Tia likes connecting. Tia is one of those promo people. She likes connecting everybody together. But if she connects anybody with anybody, you have to always make sure that you give her props for doing it because she needs to be recognized for every connection that she makes. So just absolutely. If if you know. Because. you know why I say that? Because I want that person that hears that I connected a good connection mm-hmm. so that if they need a connection, they know I just made a good connection. You know what I mean? So I want it. It's almost like a circle. I want it th- that to go around saying if I need a good restaurant to go out to dinner or if something where I want to go dancing that weekend or if I'm in Manhattan. I, it was funny. One of my girlfriends, she just texted me. She goes, what's going on in Sheep's Head Bay? I go, where the fuck? is sheep's head bay and then she was laughing i go i said she goes you know where everything is it's in brooklyn i didn't know that yeah. and i told her i don't do brooklyn right i said but if you want i know a few people that are from brooklyn i can ask them i said you know what google it look for an upscale lounge place and i'm sure you're gonna get plenty of places but i didn't know that but there are people that do call me and they'll say i'm looking for a, a, a mother of the bride dress or my daughter's going to a prom where do i get a dress or i need a cocktail dress or i don't want to spend a lot of money where do you you know i don't i buy all my dresses online mm-hmm. a lot of them from fashion nova and um hot miami styles my dress is a 30 dollars. so you know people think oh my god where she's spending money you know, I don't always spend over a hundred, two hundred dollars on dresses. Just go online, and I share that with people. Mm-hmm. They say, "Where do you get a facial?" Um, you know, we know Mary without a slice. We love her and all her, her, you know, her um, non-surgical alternatives. Yeah, her, her things that she has. I have another girl now that's doing micro needling, and it was amazing. What I do do is that I will get them done to me first. Mm -hmm. Before I refer it, I will go to a restaurant first and eat there. I will buy a dress somewhere before I refer out a friend like my friend Laura in the Marinette. So always remember if there is a referral coming. Yes, I do want recognition. (laughs) You know, only if it's a good one. If it's a bad one, I very rarely get bad ones. But if it's a good referral, I want you to say that I did it. I was the connection. So the next person 
you know, that he is that. I have no problem with them contacting me and saying, you hooked up my friend. Or, you know, you have people that write to me and say, I'm single. Can you, you got a nice guy? There's, there's nice guys everywhere. I know where they're, where they're hanging out. Just call me and ask me. <laughs> let, you, let me tell you something. Ventana's at the Modern in Fort Lee. If anybody's listening, I'm having a party over there November 22nd. We are going to be meeting at the bar again. No pressure. No, There's no type of outfit that you have to wear. You meet at the bar. An hour or two, we grab some pictures. The place is flooded with men. So ladies out there, get dressed up, you know, look good, put your makeup on, get your hair done. You're looking for a nice guy. They're all over the place. Hmm. I mean, there's, it's, a, it's a couple's place too, but it's like anywhere else. You're going to get half and half. Right. So if you're single or even if you're a couple, listen, I'm a couple. I go there with Frank, but... You know, we, you know me, I'm very social. I'll talk to everybody and anybody, you know. But if anybody asks me and they say, other than coming to my events, you know, that you never know who you're going to meet at my events. People do meet there. Um, but if anybody says, where do all the singles hang out? Gigantes, I would say, and the Ventanas. You know, that's for the ladies. That's what I see. There's like an overload of men in these places lately. You know, so if these women that are listening right now, if you're single, go to these places. They're there. It's funny. You know, I I always I have people that contact me as well and ask me, you know, where to go. And it's just funny because I really haven't been out. Yeah, you haven't been out. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I don't I mean, sometimes I know stuff and then other times I don't. But a hundred years ago, I used to call Louis Natrella was out yeah, right. cue the club and concert calendar that they used to uh-huh. have that on one of the radio stations and I would when I was you know married and I wasn't going out I would message Louie Louie where do I go tonight what's going on because Louie goes to like five different places in one night and right. you don't have the event unless Louie's there because Louie is funny. the that's him so I <laughs> always, I used to call him Al-Q because he's like the club and, and concert calendar and he knows mm-hmm. where to go. But it's true. You know, people just know that this is the line of work that you're in. And so they go to you like, what's going on? You know, where should I go? And it's also tricky because everybody has their own interpretation of what's good. So, right. um, you know, I mean, I think that they also have to know who you are. And maybe your interpretation of good and my interpretation of good may not be the same thing, but right. um, you know, it's just everybody being on the same page. So I think if you're, I think if you're a female and you're looking for a guy, as long as he's nice looking, keeps himself well, he has a job, and no drama, he's good. No drama. <laughs> Right? At this age, all of us, we're all older now. None of us are in our 20s. That are, you know what I mean? I don't know if you have 20-year-olds listening to your show, but probably people are like 35 and up. Right? Probably, yeah. smell drama. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know where you are, but there's a ton of drama uh, all over the place, and I don't think age has anything to do with it, to be quite honest with you. I think the older people get, the more drama they are able to create. So, um, Well, I think like at our age, like I'm in my 50s, I think at my age, like I, you know, I'm with Frank, I'm, you know, if I was single, and I'm just saying if I was like out, you know, out there looking, what you basically want to look at is what you have. If your kids are older and they're grown, uh, I would say go out with somebody if their kids are older and they're grown. Don't want to go out with somebody that has to talk to their ex-wife every day because they have nine and 13 year olds. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't go out with somebody that has a six year old. You know what I mean? Because you're, it's even like you, your son is what? 12? 10. Oh, he's 10. Mm-hmm. If you go out with somebody that the kids are grown and they want to go on vacation, you can't go, Karen. You got a kid. <laughs> I'm not leaving my kid going away for a week to Turks and Caicos because your kids are grown. I got a 10 year old at home. Well, so I feel that when you are dating, you need to really connect. And that's what I do when I set people up. 
How old are your kids? How old are their kids? If your kids are six and seven, I don't know many people that have kids that are that age, but I do. If I do, you, I set up people that uh, I know a, a handful of people that have young kids that age and I set them up. Mm -hmm. They're still going out with each other. But I think at our age, we are looking. So when you meet somebody, you say, hi, how are you? Do you have children? Obviously, if the kids are teenagers or, you know, you know, they're obviously got to be conversing with their ex-wife. So if you consider that drama and don't want so much of that in your life, get somebody who has the kids that are grown. You know what I mean? So that's how I would look at it. Like I would never date somebody that has like, like hi, how are you? And I see he says he's, you know, his his son is uh, twelve years old. I'd be like, see you later. <laughs> you know, if you have a grandchild who's twelve, that's fine, but not a kid. Hmm. You know, just because like me and Psych, we're on the same page. We could travel. Our jobs are similar. We could travel and do our work. You know, me and him both don't like to go away a week at a time. We like that two, three day getaway. Mm -hmm. You know, we like both like Florida. We don't want to go to Europe, you Mm -hmm. know, so me and him are compatible in a lot of ways, you know. Gotcha. So, you know, that's that's just that's my thing that that's the first thing that pops in my mind, because everybody's always looking for somebody and they're like, where do you go? Where do you go? And from my, you know, you know, from me going out there and seeing places that have, you know, n- nice looking people and they look normal. Um, <laughs> those are the two places that I would recommend okay. other than coming to my event, because you never know who's at my event. Yes, and now, you know, um, what do you got going on? You got a big event going on this weekend, right? Yes, yep. We have a uh, this. We have uh, amongst a lot of other Halloween parties and parties going on this weekend. I Is have he, never seen so. It's like New Year's Eve, yep, this Saturday night. Yep, you're right. I have never seen so many parties. Yep. and that I'm going to get to in, in a little bit. But I do want to say that we are going to be at the venue at the Royal Regency on Tuckahoe Road in Yonkers. Um, We are going to be having DJ Anthony Mangini and we have Miami Mike himself, which will be DJing. So we'll have the two of them. It's going to be streamed on Miami Miami Mike Mm radio.com. So that's going to be fun. Um, It is called, it's going to be the Playboy Freestyle Halloween Party. So obviously, you know that the freestyle that's played by Anthony and Miami Mike. Mm -hmm. And um, my theme is, Playboy club, uh, like the Playboy club that's in New York City. I'm gonna have a lot of Playboy bunnies walking around. Okay. Um, people, girls, you know, ladies can dress, uh, you know, in Playboy outfits. Um, I might, I'm gonna be the mother bunny, so I might be more covered up than the other little bunnies what that is, are floating what, around. What is, uh, <laughs> what would constitute a, a Playboy outfit? Um, I would say. It depends. Uh, they have like the black jumpsuits, you know, with the little with the, with the little bunny tail. They wear stockings or black heels with the collar and the the um, right. the wrists. What do you call them again? They're on the wrists. Cuffs. Those. Uh, hand, not, I was going to handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called again on your on your things? Lapel, not lapels. The wrist things. Uh, you know the little white cuffs or whatever what I they said, are cuffs. right cuffs and the little ear bunnies or like me i have two things i might be wearing i might be wearing a little romper a little black romper okay you know um shorts little shorts little booty shorts or i even have a long black dress with the high slit and i'm gonna bunny ears and a, and a little tail so it depends or black with a bunny tail because i mean not everybody's gonna pop up in a dance in a freaking dance skin you know so anything that's like a bunny sometimes they have the tool outfits with the bunnies you know and what about the guys women the have guys, to be bunnies what are guys gotta be i think the guys i think it's so hot if they come it's so cool that they could just wear like black pants they could wear pajamas first of all like hugh hefner or they could with the pipe or they can dress up and wear the um like i would have loved because i think frank has a great chest i wanted frank to wear like a like a robe with like nothing underneath like you know nothing no shirt underneath (laughs) no shirt underneath like that ties with a pair of black pants 
you know, maybe slippers. I think that's hot. Gel you, your hair back. You better make sure that, that <laughs> Miami Mike or Anthony Mangini doesn't wear that because they'll be flashing people all night. <laughs> So listen, it's optional. It's just something that I wanted to give a theme. I was I'm so obsessed with the Playboy Club that's in New York City. I love it. So it was just an opportunity for me to to do this as an event. But it's optional. You could come with it, whatever you want. Um, you could pay at the door. A lot of people are asking, do you need tickets? You you could go on uh, my website, which is eventsbytiamaria.com, and buy tickets, or you could pay at the door. It's twenty dollars to get in. Um, it's going to be a cash bar. There's going to be, um, I have my two Playboy Bunny dancers that will be there. Um, it's going to be a great time. It's a great venue. It's up and coming now, the venue. It seems like everybody and their mother is having a party at the venue now. So uh, if anybody wants, you know, anybody, it's beautiful over there at the Royal Regency. And it's nice because it's close to my home mm -hmm. because I'm at Ridge Hill. So it's like I go down the block right. and it's right here. Right. So that's going to be this Saturday at 8 p.m., the venue, Halloween party, events by Tia Maria with DJ Anthony Mangini and Miami Mike Radio. It's funny because I was calling him the boss. And Miami Mike. My, oh, I always, I always call him Miami Mike Radio always <laughs> all the time. Yeah. But I, I, was, I was calling him the boss. I right. said, everybody's got to go where the boss is. Right. But then somebody wrote, said that, you know, stop saying that about him, you know. <laughs> but, um. So, but he's going to be there. So hopefully everybody will be there to support everybody. And if there are other venues, there are other things going on. Like I think there's one other event that's going on. Um, that's much later on. I think it's all going on 1130 at night. Yep. Come to my event first. Come at eight o'clock yep. and then shoot over there by 1130 or 11 o'clock. Leave there. I'm sure nothing's happening there till 12, 1230. I'll be in bed by then. Yeah. So That's... if you know, you could do two nights, two, you know, time, but Saturday night is a big night. There's a lot of house parties. There's a lot of parties in restaurants and uh, uh, promoters are having parties so there's a lot and, and that's something that listen we can't help it this saturday it happens to fall on this weekend right um and really nobody can't not have a party because somebody else is having a party but no. it's gonna split the crowd so you know what like you said though you know there i mean there are a lot of parties going on and there are um a lot of, a lot of and there are a lot of our djs actually from the station that are in multiple out working in multiple yep. locations um yep. but you know what they are all pretty close to each other so um, I think people, that if if people are you know uh, ambitious, undecided, what um, to go to which one? Well, I this I think it's easy enough to go to them all if, yeah. if somebody was ambitious enough because yep. they could do a Louis Natrella and just yep. go to every party that's going on. Just um, don't drink too much if you have to drive because I'm sure the cops will be out. Yeah. So either use an Uber, like you said, they're close to each other. Yeah. It's twenty dollars yep. if you go. If, if it's even twenty dollars, you know, in, grab another couple or something. Yep. It's ten dollars each to get there. Yep. Have your car at one spot so you take your car back. You know, or uh, you know what I mean. So use, you know, use your your, your your better judgment with going out because it is a big thing. You know, and that's another thing I did want to say about my like my, also about it's like New Year's Eve. Like this New Year's Eve, unfortunately, I am not having. An event this year, it'll be my first one that I'm not having in like six years. Um, just because, A, there's so many things going on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't want to work. I want to go have a good time. And when I have parties, I work my ass off. Absolutely. So, this year, me and Frank decided that I am going to enjoy myself this year. So we're going to be at Molino's at Lake Isle. We have oh, um, nice. four tables. And uh, so, uh, two, so far, two tables are booked. But we're going to be there. I think it's like two. It's a lot. I think it's like $200 a person. Okay. But if anybody is interested in New Year's Eve, I am going to be at Molino's at Lake Isle having a great time, sitting my ass down doing shit. But dancing and you know taking pictures 
Okay. But there Sounds is good. one other thing that I did want to announce that I just recently added to my schedule of events. Okay. Um, I am going to be having, just to give it like really a quick, like where I'm going to be, uh-huh. um, this November 8th, I'm going to be in Delray, mm-hmm. Seoul 7 at 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. November 22nd, I'm going to be at Ventana's. I don't know, Karen, if you haven't been there yet, you would love it. Okay. November 22nd, we're only going to be there hanging out at the bar. Okay. No pressure. Then I'm going to have on December 1st, I'm going to have my holiday shopping expo. Okay. That's going to be at the Coliseum. So everybody that wants on a Sunday from 12 to 6, if you're a vendor that has a business or a service and you want to get a table, just let me know. Um, and everybody, you could do all your Christmas and your Hanukkah shopping there. Because I think Hanukkah is later this year, right? I have no idea. I think it's the 23rd. You're a bitch, you're a bitch Jewish girl. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> uh, I think it's the 23rd. So that's my holiday shopping expo. Okay. And then that's December 1st. And then I just added December 6th. We're going to be back at the venue. And we, we just put up candy canes and cocktails. And we're actually going to be having DJ Lenny. Okay. Santa Wasso, he'll be DJing. Okay. And that's my annual party. And this year I'm collaborating with Lenny and I'm going to be doing Toys for Tots in memory of my son Guy. I do that every year. Awesome. So that's a big, that's a very special, that's a big event. So that'll be, you know, my New Year's, like with my celebration with anybody that usually celebrates with us come out on December 6th at the venue at the Royal Regency. Okay, cool. And that's it. All right. You know, so if anybody wants to, the next time you get to see us would be Saturday night at 8 p.m. in little bunny outfits. There you go. So Saturday night. What are you dressing up as? Um, I didn't get that far yet. Um, right. I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't. You have... usually always have a fun costume. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have any bunnies, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Um. Uh, but yeah, so I just w- thank you for uh, calling in and uh, everybody go see uh, Miami Mike and Anthony Mangini at uh, the venue on Saturday night. Uh, Anthony's going to be calling in later on tonight and he's going to be telling us some other stuff he has going on as well. So right. thank you, Tia, for calling okay, thank and you. letting us know and hopefully everybody will see you on Saturday night. Okay, everybody. Take care and have a great night. Watch Chicago PD. Happy Halloween. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye. Okay. So that was Miss Tia Maria. You guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. Now, guys, I'm looking at the feed and so far I have not seen anybody posting their business cards or their website. So the whole point to tonight's show was to promote you guys and to get to know all of you. So again, if you can share this live or let all your friends know that they can jump on the feed and they can post their business card, they can post their website, um, so we can learn a little bit more about you guys. So now I am going to have a, I'm going to call my, my dear friend, Mary, and, uh, she has been a guest on my show a number of times, but we never talked about, you know, her businesses. So, um, I said, you know what, I want you to come on the show so we can talk about, um, you know, your business. So she, I actually see she just posted on the feed. So you have her information. So there you go. And um, I'm going to call Mary now and uh, get her on the phone. Hi, Karen. See, look at that. It was like magic. It came right on. Poof. I know. I just put you, I just got uh, in and put on the Got on the, the computer and pulled up the feed so I could see you talking. Yay. Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you? How are you? 
I'm good. Yeah, you had a, a crazy day. You were you were car shopping for for 16 hours, huh? You had marathon car shopping. I had a very crazy day, and uh, I will say, since we're talking about businesses, that your business. <laughs> Your listeners should never, ever go to Central Avenue Hyundai. (laughs) Never, ever. They are swindlers and shady, shady characters. I'm sorry. So we'll take our business to Nourishell and deal with people that aren't crooks. Yeah, well, I I have, uh, and it was funny, he was going to come on the show today. I actually have a guy. I got a guy. We all got a guy. I got a guy. Um, at, uh, and he does all leasing. Um, I, I, th- I had mentioned to you, so it's a great thing. If anybody ever, uh, is looking for a vehicle and knows what they want and, you know, knows the numbers that they want, this guy will get you the best deal. Um, his name is Sal. Um, and, uh, what, what, the, where does he, he's in, I think he's in Staten Island, but he does everything remotely. So, um, I, 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 I don't have, I mean, I'm bad. I should have the, the, the information, but he was going to come on the show tonight, but he said he was sick. So he had no voice, so he couldn't come on. But yeah, car buying is awful. And, uh, I, and I don't mean to offend anybody out there that sells cars, but, um, I know there are a lot of great salespeople out there. Um, that give a bad and and these other salespeople give the good salespeople a bad name because oh yeah you're right it's certainly there are a lot of good you know people out there as a matter of fact um one of our uh one the other the other female on uh, Miami Mike Radio Maymay she works for uh, Yonkers Honda. And, um, you know, I mean, I know her as a human, so I'm sure she does phenomenal as a salesperson because she's a very honest person. So, yeah, um, hard to find in a, in a car salesman. Yeah, exactly. And there are a lot of good people, but I'm sorry that you were put through that. Um, so let's, so now everybody knows that you, uh, you work at New York sports club cause you are my, uh, fitness instructor Right. And um, what else, so what else do you do? So on the side, my side gig is I sell Rodan and Fields, which is a anti-aging skin care line. Okay. And I also use it and I love it. It's, it's a really great product, a li- little less expensive than like maybe your Lancome and Clinique brand. But just as good, if not better. Okay. That. So that's what I do on the side. And anybody that's interested can just comment in your feed and I can hook them up. They do not. One thing about Rodan and Fields, which is something that I'm not really, you know, like about it is they want people to sign up and then they do this auto ship. But I run my business a little differently because I know how irritating auto ship can be, I just kind of say, listen, I'll order it, I'll get it for you, and you don't have to worry about reordering it until you're ready. Right. So that's one thing that people need to know, because I know a lot of people shy away from from Rodan and Fields because of the auto ship, and I totally get that. Yeah. So yeah. I just want everyone to know I can get you your products, and you don't have to worry about the auto ship. You know, I don't, I've never really used a lot. I, I use, I have one of their products. Um, a girlfriend of mine um, was selling it, and, and I bought it, I want to say like two years ago, because um, I also have, um, I, I, had a company, uh, Senegins, that I, I worked with. I did the side job thing too. And I got their, um, the, I started with them because of their lip sense. Because like what I'm wearing right now, you know, the lipstick, it doesn't come off. Right. And um, so we kind of like, we didn't trade, but like she let me, she was like, I, I, I you know, there was this, uh, a scrub that, that, that scrub that they have that's for your face, the Rodan. So there's a couple, there's like, there's a face cleanser that you use as part of a regimen, or they have this microdermabrasion that's scrub it. that's, that's amazing. the amazing. That's the one. Yeah. And I have to tell you, I got that, and I, I have to have it like two years 
and I still have half a thing. I mean, you don't do it every day because it's it's no exfoliant. right. And you and the really nice thing about it is you only need to use the smallest amount. So so my eye creams that I use will last me sometimes three four months. Right. Because you need the tiniest amount. It goes so far. Right. Um, and I also don't hold people to regiments. They have regiments with four steps. But for me, too, I don't have time always to do the full regiment. But I love their moisturizers. Their day moisturizers are always have uh, sunblock in them. And their nighttime moisturizers are very tightening in the morning. You see a difference almost immediately when you use it. Wow. It's great. Wow. I really love it. Their eye cream is off the chart. Hmm. Yeah. I, I know. Like I said, I, I, I don't, I know I, everybody I know that's used it swears by it. Um, I had a, a client of mine that was using it and they had rosacea and they no yeah, longer there's a have, for that. yeah, they no longer have rosacea anymore from them Correct. using that product. Right. They have a soothe line, which is for people with very sensitive skin and, um, it, you know, it it helps with these kinds of imperfections like rosacea and things like that. It cools the skin and soothes it so that it becomes healthy again. Yeah, that which is crazy because anybody who has rosacea and is always pink or red, I mean, you know, that's that sucks. So I would, you know, definitely, I mean, I know uh, like she used to just wear foundation all the time to cover it. And then she was showing herself, you know, with no foundation and was like, I'm not pink anymore. So that's pretty phenomenal. Right. It, it, it really is phenomenal. So many of their things are phenomenal. Their eye cream takes away like bags under your eyes and puffiness and that tired eye look. It's very hydrating. I love it. Honestly, I buy it. My, I, buy, I probably am my own best customer. <laughs> <laughs> now that 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 can be used both men and women, right? Yes, correct. They have they have a line for men and aftershave uh, for the skin after men shave to soothe it. So they do have a line for men as well, huh. correct? Huh. And but, I've had men use the eye cream by the eye cream. From I was going to say, I mean, it's unisex. Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, those correct. things, you know, you could, a moisturizer is a moisturizer. I mean, as long as it doesn't smell like freaking daisies, I guess you're okay, right? <laughs> There's one that, one really great thing about it is it's odor free. So it's when you put like the cream on your face, if you sweat, and you know I work in the gym, so I it, it doesn't melt into your eye and burn your eye like some of the other ones can do. Yeah. Okay. Fragrance free is good too because that's less toxicity. Yeah. You know me. It's just yeah. I you know what I can't forever. I use Lancome. I was really loving Lancome. But one thing about Lancome is it's fragrant. And if you sweat and it gets in your eye, you're finished. Yeah. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah. My my dad gets uh, gets his he uses a found like a a moisturizer with uh, the SPF in it. And it's always in his eyes. And he's always like looking for a a tissue or something because he can't see. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah, it burns your eye. It really does. So the moisturizer I use has the FP, has an SPF of fifty, and it does not burn my eyes. Awesome. awesome. Well, I love it. You have um, you did post uh your link. You posted uh your your email, I think, on there. So I posted my website, but everybody oh. should know that if they look on the website and they see what they want. They can just contact me or comment on your feed or come to my page, Mary Angela, and I will hook them up with the preferred customer pricing without becoming a preferred customer. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So they don't have to worry about shipping and they don't have to worry about auto ship and all of that. That's pretty awesome. And now yeah. the, uh, so now besides, um, you know, your, 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 uh, the Rodan and Fields, you also do, are you also a personal trainer? I am also a personal trainer. So I also do that as a side gig 
as well. I'm, I'm running a whole bunch of business. <laughs> You're a Jamaican. I got yeah. 10 job, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I do do personal training. I set people up on different uh, routines if they don't want to train every day or, or once a week. Or I will set people up on programs and revisit them once every six weeks, especially for the self-motivated clients. Um, I also have uh, my weight loss specialist degree so I can help them with the diet and nutrition and things like that. So that's pretty and just cool. basically right hold people accountable to their workouts. Well there you go I mean that's pretty awesome so you can have a beautiful skin and a hot body all from Mary. It all goes together doesn't it Karen? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I... What good is a hot body when your face is wrinkled? <laughs> that's true what do they call that everything but a face. Right. Everything but her face. But her we face. don't want to have to double bag that face. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> Oh, too much. Well, I thank you for, you know, I know you had a rough day, so uh, I appreciate the fact that you were able. Oh, anytime. You know, for you, Karen, anytime. Oh, I love you. I can't wait till we can come back and do our rant show part two. That's true. We had a lot of fun ranting, and I think oh, everybody my goodness. really I think everybody it. really loved it, because even after the fact, I had people saying to me, oh, I listened to the podcast. You two had me crying and laughing. Yeah. yeah. Especially about the naked ladies in the locker room spreading everything all over the place. We And we had a lot of uh, listeners that were chiming in and were giving us even more things to rant about. We're going to have to rant part two, Karen. Well, maybe, we'll have the, maybe we'll have your listeners type in what they want us to start on with the rant and we'll part two it. So that could be the title of the show. Don't get me started. <laughs> That's it. And this time we'll have good wine, Karen, not yes. a wine product. Oh my God. <laughs> that, I, I was ruined from that. I was absolutely ruined from that. It was, that, <laughs> we did a show and we were doing a rant and Mary was bringing over a bottle of wine and she forgot on the way out the wine. So I said, well, you know, I looked in my cabinet. I'm like, oh, shit, I have a, a bottle here. And it was like a Merlot. And I'm like, all right, cool. We got it. And we, I open it and we pour it. And I go, oh, what the hell? What's wrong with this thing? It tasted like like juice. Like, a, well, I don't even know what it tasted I like. I mean, it tasted bad. Ugh. But I still drank it, Karen. And you so drank that it. says a lot about me. I know. I was like, I every time I took a sip, I just made a face. And I think there was like, what, 6% alcohol in it or something? Yeah, we started. We just loaded it up with ice. We did whatever we Ugh. could to disguise the horror. That was terrible. That so we'll do a good bottle of wine and a don't get me started rant. A don't get me started part two. Don't get me started part two. I love it. All right, we'll do it. We'll we'll get that on All the right, calendar. All right, we'll take your day, honey. We'll get that on the calendar. I love you. Thank you so much I for calling. I love you. We'll see you Thursday morning, baby. All right, you got it, mama. All right, bye, Karen. Ciao, ciao. Bye. This is fun. I love having people calling in. I don't know if everybody out there is having fun listening in uh, Facebook land and on Miami Mike Radio, but um, amazing you do skincare and weight loss. Yes, um, she and and Jennifer, Mary is so freaking awesome. I mean, and I'm not just saying that. I mean, like I love her because she's so awesome. And she's not that type that's going to sit there and like look down at you for something. So <clears throat> like even we go to get coffee or something, she never makes a, like she doesn't give me like the look if I, and not that I put anything bad in my coffee, but you know, like sometimes I'll put a little bit of like a half and half or I'll get one. And she never, I'm like a little squirt of this, a little thing of that. And it's, and I just finished working out with her and you know, she never turns around and says like, oh, maybe you shouldn't have like, you know, she never does that. She just, you know, lets you go with it and lets you be you. And I, that's what I appreciate the most because the truth of the matter is, is that you're never going to do anything you know, there are a lot of people that are in that field that want you to completely commit. And I understand that and I respect that and I agree with that. But there are also people that don't want to commit. They want to do something, but they don't want to get yelled at. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of personal trainers, a lot of, you know, coaches, they can be that tough love 
And not all of us, you know, uh, do tough love well, right? So you need to find the right uh, compatibility with someone so that you feel empowered and you don't feel, um, you know, overpowered, right? So I definitely think, you know, Mary is definitely one of the people that, I, I mean, I like I said, I love, I can go into her class and not even feel like moving. And the next thing I know, I'm done with my class because her energy just pulled me through it. So I highly recommend her. Um, I know her link is on here. And if for any reason you can't get in touch with her, Jen, feel free to reach out to me and I will get her uh, connected with you. And I hope you're feeling better, Jen. You guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And uh, tonight is my uh, promo show where I am trying to give back to all of my listeners and um, learn more about you. Although I don't have a lot of you guys sending me... Um, uh, you know, I don't see you posting. I wanted everybody to post their business cards and their website on the uh, feed so that people can learn more about you and what you do and uh, what you bring to the table. So I actually have someone that had what had reached out to me um, the other actually yesterday um he reached out to me because uh, he saw that I had posted um, the, uh, you know, th that I wanted people to call in. So um, he said that he wanted to be a part of the conversation. So I was able to schedule him in. I am trying to schedule each and everybody in. I got m some people more excited about it than others. I actually did this show tonight um, hoping that um, a, a girlfriend of mine that just started a business was going to be able to um, participate this evening, but she was unable to because her business is, you know, off and running and unfortunately she could not get to um, get to me tonight. But I will give her a shout out because um, I think she deserves that. And we're all friends supporting friends. So this is for um, Beyond Beautiful, which is with Melissa Masha. And she has a Botox bar. And it is in Greenwich, Connecticut. And I was there on Sunday and I'm waiting for it to, to work. I'm trying to get rid of my wrinkles. I'm going to be 50 this year. So I'm trying to get everything to pull up and sit up. I say after uh, after 30, a woman got to walk on her hands for everything to be in the right place. <laughs> so big shout out. Shout, bleh, that was not nice. A big shout out to Beyond Beautiful, Melissa Masha. Um. We love you, and I wish you the best of luck. It's in Greenwich, Connecticut. So um, hopefully she'll chime in at some point and, and put down her phone number and stuff. But if anybody needs Botox, um, please reach out to me, and I will give you her information. So now I am going to call Courtney. So here we go. Um, I am going to... Call. Okay, call. Let's see. All right. Hello. Hi, Courtney. How are you? I'm wonderful. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. You got to lower. Um, are you have you still have me in the background? Yeah. Yeah, you got to lower that for me, sweetheart, because right. we hear that echoing. All right. I'm going to turn that off now. Okay. Great. Thank All you right. so much. All right. All right. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. So, Courtney, I don't know you. Um, okay. You know, I, I, you like I was saying before, you reached out to me that you wanted to uh, come on the show. So, talk to me. Who, who, who are you? What, what do you? What is your business? And, and how can we help teach everybody who you are? 
Well, I'm so excited to be with you tonight. I have been on this journey in my life. I identify as a woman and a man today. I'm transgender. I'm 29. And for all the listeners out there in the world, I think that you're doing a really amazing job um, showing your dedication to local emerging artists. You know, you're talking about Anthony. You're talking about Mike. And all of the people you've stuck through um, this challenge and this battle, you know, so many things have happened. We um, survived Hurricane Sandy. We had the September 11 attacks, and now we're um, looking for equity um, throughout New York City. So my name is Courtney Chow. I also uh, perform under DJ Gino Santos. I've been a DJ for 12 years. And um, when I got HIV five years ago, you know, um, something I wasn't able to do anymore was uh, show up to some of my gigs because I was a critical meth addict. I was using intramuscular drugs to get high. I was missing out on my friends, my relationships, and my self-worth. So um, during that time in my life, I was trying to find some uh, stability in my life. I moved back to New York um, in 20, um, 2009. I moved to New York City, and I moved back to... Rhode Island in about 2013, 2014, and I started uh, paying off my student loans. Um, initially, I was looking to join the military. So with the military, um, once again, I thank you for answering this call tonight. I was told I couldn't join the military anymore because of my HIV status, and I was like, well, this is kind of disturbing because, you know, it's unfortunate to think that people aren't seen as an equal person just based on their genetic material, mm-hmm. but the thing I said I can do for myself is I can create something else that's still there. So what I started to do, I um, started my company, Project No One, which is Veteran Crisis Prevent, HIV Discrimination, Civil Rights, and Suicide Awareness. And I partnered up with the New York Fire Department, and we did a really amazing event um, with the team from Antisocial. And we were uh, at TBA in Brooklyn, and that was something to represent um, veteran mental health, a very talked about topic, but something that not everyone may know about. So um, one of the crucial remarks that we have is 140 veterans lose their life to suicide in a week so we're saying well what can we do to be courtney courtney i'm gonna yeah. interrupt you for a second i love your passion but you gotta slow down a little bit I'm sorry. because <laughs> there you're giving us so much amazing information okay. but you gotta just slow down a little bit so we can hear you better all right it will slow down. I'm Take sorry. a deep I'm breath, my love. Take a deep uh, breath. Yes, okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to pass out before the next conversation. No, so, you're um, going to be fine. I want to thank you for having um, this presentation tonight. Of course, Miami Mike and everyone that is uh, putting forth their story with uh, cosmetics and petition rights. You know, um, it's important that we emerge with synergy and we collect each other to be better friends in the future. So I continue this message with um, rallying for individuals to get involved with career readiness. So one of the things that I like to um, put forth with my mission and operations is volunteerism. So volunteerism is as local as speaking to someone like you or going to a nonprofit or a volunteer fire department to see what can you do for someone that may be struggling. After the remarks that happened with Hurricane Sandy, I was serving with an agency called the George Wiley Center for two years, and it was my responsibility to do financial aid-based management for people that had reoccurring debts on their national grid account. So I would go in, see how I could better serve them. I would um, contact local ministries and churches, and we would get your national grid bill squared away. And part of that was also me performing Narcan trainings. So Narcan is a hydrochloride that will revive your partner or someone you may see experiencing a fatality caused by an opioid. So opioids could be fentanyl, it could be a Percocet, it could be heroin. We lose about 197 people a day to this epidemic. So one of the missions that I tried to embrace in my adult years is my higher education. So I went back to school for criminal justice. I was in the Department of Homeland Security, and my operations was to teach people about the dangers of gun violence. So I started doing some trainings with unions like the Pawtucket Police Department. We do active shooter trainings to prepare people how to exit venues in the state of, of an emergency because we saw some uh, terrible things happen in Orlando. There was um, the Pulse family that was continuing to rise through this um, horror story and uh, we also saw some technicalities at EPM so my mission now is to approach venues and people like yourself so you know about ways we can encourage social equity so that these type of situations 
do not continue to happen. So um, one of the things I never knew about myself, as I said, I ended up identifying as a transgender person. So I identify as a man or woman. I cross dress. And, um, you know, yesterday was kind of uh, a scary place for me. I was trespassed from the mall for trying on makeup at Mac. And, I'm, and I was almost not in tears, but just so bothered by the fact that someone could think that my life isn't as important to other shopper, and I've been a shopper in that mall for quite some time, and I was I was trespassed from the mall for trying on makeup. So, you know, mm-hmm. from situations like that, it was something that was translated into my adult years also, Karen, because last year, um, when I came out as a transgender woman, I was actually expelled from college for identifying as a woman. They took me out of class. Um, they told me that I could never come back on campus for three years, and they... Um, abused me quite oftenly um the university it was it was so terrible and i, I don't want to um, label that university for um, protection rights i, I had a, gone through superior court but you know it's scary to think that a woman or a man would be going to school for homeland security and they reveal their gender identity and then they're so vulnerable at this point in their life and you know i grew up in foster care i have amazing uh, biological family members but you know foster children deserve to be heard in a full force you know and unfortunately um technicalities with transgender women is that they might be survivors of domestic assault or sexual assault or rape and people don't want to hear their stories because they're saying what is the exaggerated personality talking to me about you know what i mean mm-hmm. and, and i don't want to even say you know what i mean because um you know we're talking about risk sensitive topics and with that comes hope so uh, hope is something that is our motto in Rhode Island, calling from Rhode Island today, and I just wanted to thank everyone uh, for their constant equity. Um, so the number one point, I just want to refer everyone once again, my name is Eugene Santos, I also go by Courtney Chow, I am the CEO of uh, Project No One, Veteran Crisis Prevention, HIV Discrimination, Civil Rights, and Suicide Awareness. If anyone is in need of recovery housing, you uh several beds available in Rhode Island, it's about a three-hour trip from New York, so you can take the Amtrak, you can take a Go Bucks, it's about $25 round trip. I am here for you. I am um, celebrating 91 days Crystal Meth Free today, and I will continue to be there for my family that supported me in New York. So thank you so much for listening to me, and I hope you enjoy this real talk with Karen Stacey. God bless, and thank you so much. I, You are a, a very passionate person. Um, and uh, we need poor, more people in the world like you that... Um, I, I happen to um, have a lot of respect for people that have been faced with adversity and rise above and find a better way to uh, turn that around and make a difference. Well, as always, I hope that this friendship continues. Um, everybody that's going to be out in New York City this weekend, please make sure you're responsible. Uh, travel in groups with people you know and um don't leave anyone behind okay absolutely thank you so much and uh thank you. you did post on on the feed so everybody if if you do need courtney's help please um you know don't feel free to reach out if you if you can't find him reach out to me and and we'll make it happen thank Cheers you and fabulous thank you so much for calling you're welcome so much have a wonderful evening you too my love bye ciao Okie dokie. Wow. I mean, God bless that energy. I, 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 I couldn't, I was trying to hear it all. He had so much that he packed into such a short amount of time. That was amazing. Um, okay. So now where am I? I don't even know where, what, what time it is. I got everybody scheduled. My phone's going crazy. Um, and uh trying to figure this out okay um who i have to think about who else i have coming on now just going back i see now that there are people that are putting stuff on the feed um the uh we right the tarot card reading gypsy 11 um that's pretty cool uh i've been wanting to get a, a reading uh with her um, and the page is there and also quartz crystals and jewelry. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Okay. Um, yes, 913. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I don't know. This getting old thing. I can't see the eyes don't work so good no more. I can see. I can't see. 
Um, yeah, I thank you guys. I see there are a bunch of people that have checked in on um, the feed on Facebook, and I greatly appreciate it. As I said, tonight's show is a promo show. It is to promote who and what you are, what you do, your business, and how it may, um, how, how we can benefit from knowing more about you uh, and knowing about your business. So please, again, um, check out uh, whatever the links are. I hear, Melissa, I see you are um, on the feed. Can, can we do a quick phone call? Perhaps that I can schedule you in just a few minutes and this way you can give everybody your information. I did just do a shout out for you, but um, it would be great if you would talk. So um, I am actually not sure if you're still on the feed. Uh, let's see. And we got to get, and then I have, um, I have two more phone calls at the moment that are going to be coming in. So again, multitasking, trying to text and read and talk all at the same time. And, uh, again, I appreciate if everybody can share this post to get more people involved. Let's post those business cards. You guys are being shy. Post your website. Um, you know, let's promote, that's what we're here for. Let's support one another in, um, our new endeavor. All right. So I am now going to call Melissa. See, this is awesome. We got this all going. Let's see. Melissa. Hello. Hi, we are live on the radio. Hi, Karen. Hi, Melissa. How are you? You look so smooth already. Um, I, it's, it's starting to work. I know. I woke up this morning and I was like, it, I feel smoother. I could see it. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. Yes, I know. Me too. So, Any, I, any bruising? Any bruising? No bruising. I was a little bit, just a little sore right in between over here, but no, not one bruise, nothing. Good, good, nope. I'm happy. All good. So, um, Melissa, tell everybody, I'm, and Melissa was actually, uh, you know, I kind of brainstormed because Melissa is trying to, she's burning the candle on like 37 ends. Um, so <laughs> yes, she's 50 tr- ends. <laughs> yeah, she's trying, she was trying really hard and everything was going on. So I'm glad that you were able to, uh, you know, get on the feed and, and get in. I, I did do a shout out for you, but Let's tell everybody a little bit about you, Melissa. What is your background? Okay. So I'm a registered nurse since 1992. I I went back to school in 1995, and I earned my Master's of Science in Nursing in 1998. I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist for 22 years, and the past two years I've been doing Botox and fillers and everything else. So I'm getting out of the hospital and trying getting into that field. Getting so you're you're going from p- making people pass out to uh, <laughs> to Make, actually making them happy, making them happy, and actually having to talk to them now, right? You should probably give them anesthesia before you start with the. Uh, <laughs> And boy, could they talk. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you, it's, um, I, I, you know, I'm a, a, a licensed hairdresser for uh, 20 something years. And I was telling you, you know, it's, it's not so easy dealing with the public. I mean, it's amazing dealing with the public, especially when people are happy. There is no greater feeling than, you know, making someone happy and making someone feel good about themselves. I mean, that is a gift like no other, you know. Um, I, I agree, Karen. Yeah, because um, in the beginning of the, the, the show, I was saying how, you know, some people, you know, their whole life is just work and they don't even love what they do. Um, and they say if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, right? So, um, you know, it's, it's, I know that you've been in, you know, the business for a long time and, and you're looking to start a new venture, uh, in a different avenue. Um, you know, and it, I know you have to, I mean, you've been like crazy nonstop since you, you know, your grand opening, 
Um, how does it feel? I mean, doesn't it feel amazing when people like you're seeing these amazing results and people are just like so happy? Yes, Karen, but it's, it's a little bit stressful. I follow them through the whole week. It doesn't end just at the treatment. Of course. Of course. I give anesthesia. I give anesthesia. I bring me to the recovery room. I'm done. Right. This doesn't. It. This is all we calling. How are you? Send me pictures. I want to see you. Yep. If that's not right, we're going to fix it. Yeah. So it's a little more. It just continues more. It doesn't end at five o'clock when the when the operating room ends. It just goes on a little more. Right. And also, it, when you're dealing in beautification, there are a lot of people that have unrealistic goals. So, like for instance, when I saw you the other day. Um, you know, and, and you are saying, well, no, you, that you can't do because you, that's not going to look like that. Like, if you want me to do that, it's going to look like shit. You're not going to get the right result. So, you know, there are a lot of people that want, you know, they want to like, it's like I'm coming to get Botox. And meanwhile, I want to walk out looking like I had a facelift. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. Yes. We spoke about that. And it's not about the money. It's about being honest and telling them the reality about the results they're going to have. Right. Exactly. And I do have to say that, um, I, I told you, I told you, you can't do that. We have to wait. Right. Yes. But I tell you, yes, that's what I'm saying. And, and, but I am exactly the same way. We had this conversation that day. Right. And I said, I had yes. people that will come and they wanted their hair to look a certain way. I go, it's never going to happen. You don't have that kind of hair. So it's never going to look like that, you know? And yeah, sure, yeah right. like you said, I could take their money and do what they asked me to do, but it's never going to look the way they wanted it to look. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, but I, what I wanted to say is that I was actually, I mean, I know you on a personal level. I mean, we, we don't know each other, you know, well, but we know each we other. We know each other pretty well, Karen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and well, you're, you're a Bronx girl too. So we're just, um, we're honest uh, and uh, to a fault. And, um, you know, I was very impressed. I mean, because of the fact that I have been to a couple of different people and I have had Botox and fillers done in the past. I haven't done anything recently, but I never had someone take that type of time um, and precision to do it. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, you go and get these things done. First of all, you're, you're very competitive with your pricing. Um, and you know, you go and get these things done and you spend a ridiculous amount of money and you walk in the door and they look at you and they go boop, 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 boop. And you're out. And in five minutes, you could drop anywhere from 500 to $2,000 in five minutes. It's like going to the supermarket, spending $500 and walking out with one bag. Like, you're like, <laughs> what did I, why did I just, what, what just happened here? And you were like an artist. You, you know, were measuring, you were, you know, smile on smile, you know, moving here, moving there, like looking at everything. You weren't just like blindly going in. You were precise with everything that you did. And you never, even though you had a hundred people outside waiting, you weren't in a rush. You were just like, okay, I'm in this room now. This is what I'm doing and I'm going to do this. And you took your time and, and I was very impressed by that. Thank you, Karen. Your face represents me, right? When you walk around, they're going to say, oh my God, who did your Botox? Right. Well, hopefully right? they're not going to say, oh my God, who did your Botox? Because no, um, you're, you're going to look so good. No, you're I know. I'm teasing. You look good. They'll notice, but they won't know. <laughs> right. I'm teasing you. Yes, absolutely. I know, I know. Absolutely. And that is definitely, um, you know, the case. So, you know, I, I give you a lot of credit. You got the hustle going on. Um, and Karen, Karen. And then there's a second visit. I fix you up if there's a little bit moving. That's right. That's You're right. You're not going to walk around with a little movement, something crooked. Nope, it's two visits. Botox is two visits. So, but you also do um, a little more than, at, at least the people I visited, I, I'm, you know, have, did not... They weren't as fancy. I mean, you do, I know you're, you're running, uh, I think you have a special for, you're doing a lip flip. What does that mean? Uh, I do a lot of specialty injections, which, I mean, some do it, some don't do it. You need to have, you know, 
practice at it and know what you're doing. It's the lower face. I do a lot of that. I do the lip flip where instead of looking like a Kardashian where your lips are like tremendous, it just gives you just a little lift on the upper lip. It shows a little more of your lip, gets rid of the wrinkles, the marionette lines, your smile will come up. It's another special tea injection that you have to know how to do at practice of doing it. The bunny lines, like when you squint your, you squint your nose up, special tea injection is there. And then also the masseter, the muscles on the side. If you grind your jaw, you know, your teeth at night, your muscles on the side of your face get very big, like if you're going to the gym. Yeah. So there's enough injection there that will recontour your whole face by just injecting it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I know I used to grind my teeth. I don't know if I still do, but I know I used I, to. I do. I do. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to do the before and after. I inject myself. So I'm going to give you the before and after pictures after I do it. Oh, cool. Okay. I don't know. I hope that I am still live on Facebook because it just said it was trying to reconnect, but I see myself moving so hopefully I'm good. I don't know if we froze or not. I think there was too much, too much Bronx going on here. I still see you. I still see you, honey. Am I still there? Yeah. Oh, I see that. I see that smooth face, Karen. You see it? All right. I just said, <laughs> are we live? And it posted. So I guess we are still there. I need somebody can, can give me some likes so that I know you guys are there. We need some love for Melissa. Where are you? Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to see. It says broadcast interrupted on my iPad. Uh, and I just sent something. See if you see it. No. Oh, yes. I just saw it on here, but not on there. So this is weird. Okay. It's not It's not on here. but Okay, but you see me and I'm still moving and talking? Oh, and there's Joe. Your husband's on too. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Joe's here too. <laughs> Joe. All right, Joe, you could see me. I'm waving at you right now. All right. Cam, what, Cam, what about the Brotox? Brotox, of course. Yeah, man, it's so shy to get the Botox. Why are you shy? Come on over. See, now somebody's saying they can't see or hear anything. Okay. I can see you and hear you. Okay. I don't know what the heck happened. Let's see. <laughs> what happened? Uh, it is frozen. It's not frozen with me. Other people are saying, "I, you know what? I hear you through the through the phone." They're saying it's frozen on Facebook. Yeah, I know. I just um, I'm gonna. You are frozen. I'm looking at you. Honey. I you just, I know. I'm going to um, where am I here? I gotta go live again because um, I got booted off. Where am I? That's not good. Okay. I lost it. Okay, wait a second. I think you're back. You're back on, Karen. No, I'm not. Yes. No, now it's off again. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go. Get, bear with me a second. Talk about Botox when you get back. Okay, hold on. Let's get back on here. Okay. All righty. Let's get on here. Yeah, Botox. That's the best. All right. Let's see. We're still live on the radio, though, so, um, all right, let's, we, we got, we're back on, I think, um, okay, yep, do you see me, Melissa? I'm gonna tag you. No, I don't see it, babe, nope. All right, keep looking, because, uh, we're here. I want to give, we're on Brotox. <laughs> Hold on, we're here, I'm just trying to tag everybody. Yeah. No, oh, it's not moving? No, you're frozen on Joe's phone also. Yeah, I just restarted um, uh, another feed. So let's see if um, I'm on there, but I don't know if anybody's on. Check, check me out. I'm back on. Hang on. Is she moving there? Yeah. No, you're not moving, honey. Frozen book. You got to uh, maybe close that one and go to the All new right, one. Okay, I'll close and reopen. Yeah, everybody's saying frozen. Can you get back on yeah. there. Damn Facebook. Yeah, see, you're there. I see you, Melissa. You, you just jumped on. 
We Should need I... go to my She's on page. I'm back. But now we got to get everybody back on with us because now everybody lost us. They're they're actually commenting. It's really weird. I don't know how I'm frozen. Um but there's I see you. You're giving me hearts. All right. Gina, Gina, I know you just jumped on. We got booted off of Facebook. Could you please do me a favor and tag people again for me? I'm so sorry to bother you. Oh, you're the best. Gina, you're already doing it. I freaking love you. She's the best. We got, I got Melissa on the phone with me right now from Beyond Beautiful. And uh, there were just too many Bronx girls uh, on this. You know, Tia was on earlier. And now it's you and I, I guess there's just too much um, fabulousness going on on the airwaves now. And, <laughs> and we just like booted ourselves up. People are coming on now. They're coming back. They're finding us. They're finding us. Um, yeah. Yes, we are. We're here. They're coming in. Um, let's, it's frozen. There is nothing. Um, new feed. Okay. So... Let's talk. All right. So now you were just talking about um, Botox. So what is that? Botox is Botox for the men. Most men are embarrassed, so they don't feel right. They feel feminine to get Botox, but it's really not. Well, what's the difference between getting like Brotox and Botox? What's the difference? Botox is the same thing, but Brotox is a, it's just a name that you call for the men. Brotox. So that. Same exact thing. Now, do you, so I guess the, the muscles in men's faces are different, right? You just need a little more for the most part. A little more Botox and a little bit of different areas, different patterns you inject. Hmm. Because their their facial structure is stronger than ours, right? Yes, but why can't men be beautiful too? No, I listen. I I have a friend of mine, and he tans like crazy, and like his eyes are all wrinkled up, and I can't wait to bring him to you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fa- listen. I'm gonna do live when I when I do Joe. I'm gonna do it live. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I told you I wanted us to do live. Maybe when you do my touch up, we can do it live. Yes, yes. We'll do we'll do that and and then we can go out and have like wine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, after the botox. After. Yes, not not before. Absolutely not. Um Melissa, tell everybody how they could find you. They could find me Beyond Beautiful, located in Greenwich, Connecticut, 4 Deerfield Drive, Suite 102. Uh, my phone number in the office is 203-832-0314. Okay. And do me a favor. You're on the feed now. So when we get off the phone, um, please type that in so that everyone can, um, see your, where, where you're located um, and they have the information there. Did you, um, now do you have, uh, you, did you, I don't even know if you, you don't have a website or anything yet. Do you? They're building the website because we just opened this weekend. Yes. And congratulations. We're having, we're having a filler event, lip filler, nasal labial folds, marionette lines, under eye fillers on November 2nd. Very, very good prices. And we're honoring the prices of ten dollars a unit until November second. After that, the Botox changes. Wow! You know, and November second would have been my wedding anniversary. That's a tough day for uh, me. That's a good day. We have a lot of dates in common, Karen. Really? Yes, we talked about this. Yeah, that that's a good day for you to freeze everything on me, so I have no expression at all. Yes. <laughs> no, the filler event on November second will be fabulous. That's awesome. I, I would love to, to try to make that. Um, please come. Please yeah. come. I'll definitely need a lot of alcohol, though. <laughs> after the fillers. Remember that. After. <laughs> I know after. I know after. But I'm Karen, just saying. Yes. Karen, yes. You're, looking, you're looking beyond beautiful. Oh, well, thank you, my love. It's all I'm glad, because of you. I'm glad. I'm glad the Botox is working, honey. You look great. Yes, and Melissa had her grand opening this weekend. It was Saturday and Sunday, and we did Sunday. We did a Botox brunch, 
and uh, I am, it, it, we already see results and it's only been, uh, what, Sunday, Monday, so it's only two days, which is like normally, it, it takes anywhere from like seven to ten days, right? It starts at, you usually see the results in four days until seven days, that's the usual. Okay, well, there now you go. Now I'm trying a new product, Google it, Juvo, we're trying that. What is that called? What is it? it? it it's Juvo. It's similar to Botox. It's a little cheaper. The onset is sooner and it lasts longer. Instead of getting Botox four times a year, this is promising to you have to do it three times a year. Wow. There's also a $75 rebate on top of it, the, the price that I'm offering. Wow. Wow. Right. Yeah. Through the company. It's, it's amazing. I met with the rep today and I think it's a great, great deal. Oh, awesome. Well, there you go. I mean, I know you're going to be cutting yeah. edge and you're going to be, you know, using sure. all the best stuff. So, um, yeah, no. Just remember, for anybody here, at, when Melissa gets off the phone, she's going to put the information down on the on the site. Although, uh, I think Joe is on there. Joe, put in her information. <laughs> he will. Uh, yes. Karen, I want the before and after pictures. I want you to post them. Yeah, I, we never took a before um, there, though. So, um, But we'll, I'm sure I have pictures with wrinkles, so it's easy enough to do. <laughs> Um, thank you thank you so much karen thank you and i wish you the very best of luck don't forget to put the information on and if anybody goes to melissa just mention real talk and she will take even better care of you absolutely all right i love you girl thank you so much for calling thank you karen all right i'll see you soon bye-bye bye Bye. all righty Boy, see, this is cool. I'm sorry that we got kicked off and I lost a lot of people in the process here. I know it got frustrating. <clears throat> um, I apologize. I don't know what the hell happened. Facebook is just um, not cooperating with me today. <laughs> you guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And um, tonight is a promo show, and the reason for the show is so that um, we can uh, promo all of our uh, followers and listeners. So I now have another person that I am going to have call, um, or that I'm going to call, Um, and let's see. If uh, he's ready to rock. Everybody's been really ready to rock. So this has been awesome. Let's see. See, it's ringing. Hello. Hi, Jean. It's Karen. How are you? Hello, Miss Stacy. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I am good. This is, I, I'm talking to Jean Zanopoli on the phone right now. How are you? Hello out there. Good. Hi, everybody in Radio Land. Yes. <laughs> We're in Radio Land. We're on Facebook Land. We're we're all over the land. <laughs> Good to hear from you. It's been a while. I know. I, 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 it has been a while, and and I apologize for that. I know we have been trying to uh, connect, and it hasn't worked yet. But it worked well, now. Better late than never. That's it. Better late than never. Gene did my show. Wow, a couple of years. Like it, it was what a, a year. Actually, it came up on my memories. I think it was like a year ago. Uh, has, that, has it been a year? I yeah, think so. And you know what's funny is I just got booted off Facebook Live for some reason, and um, I was you know, and, and and everybody lost me on the feed, and now they're they're starting to come back again now and they're finding us but um do, do you notice that every time i'm on your station yes. it's, it's a hurricane yes i was just saying that and i'm like are you I, you know what it is i think we had too much bronx going on on the airways i had Tia <laughs> on i just had melissa from uh beyond beautiful she's from sure. the bronx and now i got you you're from the bronx I, we're gonna freaking go out again it's guaranteed That's all right. it's gonna happen so, Gene, talk to me. What's been going on? You're like a new business owner now, huh? I am. I am. Uh, you know, last time I was on your show, I had that nightclub on Central Avenue. Yep. And uh, for just many reasons, it just didn't work out. Uh, so I closed it in March. And then my family, who owns uh, the restaurant, the Old Stone Mill, for the past 10 years, made me an offer to uh, join forces with them. 
and become a manager slash maitre d slash owner slash whatever you know just a little bit of everything okay so it's been about three months and uh, business has been increasing every week and um you know, I'm a people person, so talking to customers is second nature, and we're bringing in music and comedy and psychic night and just a whole bunch of different things to revitalize the uh, restaurant and to make it a uh, eating entertainment destination. That sounds pretty cool. I have to get over there. Um, I haven't been there yet. I know I wanted to check it out because... Um, we were talking about us maybe doing something. So. Yeah, well, sure. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the name, uh, it's a, there's a variation. It used to be the Old Stone Mill. Okay. Now it's the Napoli's Stone Mill. Okay. You know, we put our family name in front of it because we have a good name between, you know, the cousins. We got like four different restaurants and Angelina's and the North Street Tavern. Uh, excuse me, the North End Tavern on North Avenue. My cousin Perry owns a couple of restaurants up in the Somers and Pleasantville area with the golf courses. So we felt that in order to let people know that we're not the same restaurant from 10 years ago when it was on Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay, uh, that that was a previous owner, I thought we needed a new name change. Mm. So instead of going totally out of the box, I said, all right, let's get rid of the word old. And the Stone Mill, you know, it's a historical landmark. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, it's 214 beautiful. years old. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I said, let's call it the Napoli Stone Mill. And it's easy on the tongue. It's easy when you pick up the phone. So uh, for the past three months, we've been steadily getting more busy every week uh, with the addition of music and uh, entertainment and brunches and backyard barbecues and uh, music during the brunch on Sunday and Sunday dinner shows. So it's... Um, it's definitely a new undertaking for me, but one that I slipped in pretty easy because, look, let's face it, I, I might not be a restaurant owner for 40 years, but I eat out five nights a week for 40 years. So I kind of like know what people want in the restaurant business because I'm one of those people. Right. So I just apply whatever used to bug me. I look and make sure it doesn't happen here. That, that's it. I mean, that's hopefully the best way to be successful is to learn from other people's mistakes and your own. Right. I mean, right. Right. is that, you know, you exactly like you go someplace and, you know, you get crappy service or you get crappy food or whatever the case, you know, who the hell wants that? Right. You yeah. Want- you know, I mean, like for many years, the place uh, couldn't get a good chef. So the food was iffy, but the service was good. Okay. And then, then opposite, uh, the food was good and the service was iffy. Well, okay. now we have we have a kitchen staff and a wait staff that I think, all right, listen, we're not a 10 out of 10. If, if anybody was a 10 out of 10, they'd be, you know, the best in the business. But we're, we're consistently 7 or 8 out of 10. And uh, people have been loving it. We had some new things to the menu. Like this month, we have German food. For Oktoberfest. Cool. You know, you don't find that in a traditional Italian place. But we don't want to be a traditional. I want to do what the public wants. So we put it on the menu, and if they order it, we do it again. If they don't order it, then we know it's not for them. That's it. I mean, it's trial and error, you know. It's trial and error. That's with everything, you know. I mean, there's nothing that you do that you don't, you know, you you learn from. I mean, I do certain shows. I have certain people on, and I I get a a huge feedback from it. And then I do other shows, and I don't get a huge feedback from it. So, you know, the only way to, to know is to throw it out there. But I actually... I like that because you don't know. And to be honest with you, maybe nobody's tried German food before. So maybe they try it and they say, even if they might not have never ordered it again, they turn around and say, you know, I had, I I actually did have German food. You know, I I don't know that I would get it again, but I was glad I I got it. You know, I liked it. And that's how I try to do my show too. Like, you know what? I never thought about that before. I mean, I don't agree, but I never really thought about it it like that before you know you know when, when you're in the public business yep you don't have to agree that's true 
you have to do what makes sense for your public. Right. You know, and, and a, a fool doesn't listen to his public. That's true. But a you lot know, of people don't even know. I think that the, the other thing is, is sometimes people don't even know, you know, like, like I'm saying, I don't know that I, I've never had German food before, but you know what? Right. I would be open to try it. Right. You know? Um, so I think that that's the, the thing is that people have to be open to it, but it's awesome right. that you're, you know, you're branching out into all these different, you know, di- directions. Like, but with the food, is it predominantly like an Italian? Oh, it's de- it's an Italian American eatery. Okay. Because in addition to the traditional Italian food, we have steaks and pork chops and you know the sea bass and swordfish. Um, you know, so and there's specials every week. Uh, you make and this hungry. German thing, you know, I just happen to love German food. And I said, well, if I'm going to be in the restaurant six nights a week uh, for the next couple of weeks, then I still want my German food. So I brought it up to my uncle, who's the predominant owner, and my cousin. And I said, what do you think? And he goes, I love German food. Put it on the menu. So we put it on the menu. And the first week we sold like 30 bratwurst and Wiener schnitzel. Huh. So, you know, right off the bat, we knew it was a hit. That's pretty cool. Hey, yeah, listen. and you know, we get, sorry, Karen, what'd you say? No, I mean, that's great. I'm saying, yeah. you know. The, the, you the, know, and, and we have a, a, a happy hour starting on Wednesdays, Wednesday through Friday. Ladies drink half price. We get free bar snacks out. And then tonight we had an open mic comedy, poetry uh, in the back room. You know, I have three dining rooms there. So, it, you know, I could do things in different dining rooms that don't affect my regular a la carte business. Right, which is awesome. Right. And then we book a lot of, a lot of parties, a lot of private events, a lot of weddings. You know, we have a beautiful stone patio. We have a garden that fits about a hundred people. Wow. So next year we're going to have a gazebo. We're going to have tents. We're going to do cocktail hours outside on the grass. Then we're going to bring the people indoors for the party reception. Uh, I'm an ordained minister now. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you book your, if you book your wedding with me, I throw the, there's minister services in as a gratis. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's just, it's a lot to take on the, uh, but, you know, let's go head first, knee deep, throw everything against the wall, see what sticks, and run with it. There you go. Listen, God bless. And and you know what? You never get nowhere unless you, you go. So right. I give you a lot of credit. I know, you know, that, that you had a lot going on with your previous business. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, very tricky. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that you were able to, uh, you know, move forward. And, uh, you know, it sounds amazing. And, and I know, you know, it's, it's a very rustic uh, place from, you know, when I was there. I don't know if, right. if, if that's still the case, but... Oh, um, well, that's that's the character of the building, you know, yes. 214. You know, we'd be stupid to uh, change it dramatically. Right. But we want to take it out of the uh, frontier days right. and bring it up to a modern feel food-wise, right. but still keep the charm and appeal. You know, we still have the formal dining room with all the antiques, uh, we have the atrium, the glass atrium, which lets people uh, enjoy the trees and the flowers from indoors. We have a, a indoor pub room, which is decorated like the backyard of an Italian villa. That's cool. Uh, so you you feel like you're in somebody's backyard. Then we have the lounge area, which has a lot of dark woods and all the wines. And, you know, we're dressing it up. We're going to light up the trees outside. We're going to light the building up. You know, we have two very big parking lots, one across the street in the bank, one behind us. So the, the parking is just immense. That's great. Uh, yeah. That's so, important. Yeah, it's all very important. Parking is And, and what's important. good about being involved with family uh, is that they understand I have my career. Right. So the deal was I continue my career while working this out. Uh, so it hasn't interfered uh, really yet. Um, I hope it doesn't because I'm still singing. <laughs> I'm still acting. Good. Uh, matter of fact, I just picked up a commercial on Saturday. I have to go to New York City and do. Awesome. Uh, so my family understands that, you know, that's my love. My love is performing. I will do the restaurant for my future. There you go. 
but they're not going to step in my way of uh, performing, and they haven't. That's awesome. Well, Gene, yeah. tell everybody again the name of the restaurant. Okay, well, formerly it was the Old Stone Mill. Now it's Dinapolis Stone Mill, which happens to be our Facebook page and our website, DinapolisStoneMill.com. Okay, and where is it? What is the address? The address is 2 Scarsdale Road, and it's Yonkers slash Tuckahoe. Uh, we're right on the border. One part of our building is in Tuckahoe, and the other part of our building is in Yonkers. Awesome. Well, I so, I will definitely, I am going to get there now that things have quieted down, and we are going to put an event together. Great. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll even do a show. Uh, sure. I, Absolutely. I can't wait to, to try that food. You got me hungry. Uh, yeah, you know, I know, right? You got me hungry. <laughs> I know. And, you know, we have we have a drawing for dinner for two every week. If you drop your business card in the fishbowl, we have a drawing every Friday, dinner for two. And uh, the only thing we don't do is we don't pay the tip. You come in, you want lobster tail, you want steak, you want macaroni, whatever you run the gambit is. That's on us. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. The only thing is we ask you to follow the Facebook page, Instagram, and uh, our website. We have an email list. Uh, it's just, it's really going to come into fruitation uh, over the next couple of months. That's awesome. Well, I wish you the best of luck. It sounds amazing. I will get my butt over there and we will put something together. Fabulous. I appreciate you taking the time to call and um, we wish you luck. Of course. Oh, you know what, Karen? Let's yeah. do this. What? We got one more minute. One more minute. Okay. Whoever hears me on your show right now, if they email me through the website, I will give them a twenty-five dollar gift certificate for dinner. Wow! You heard it. So they it. come in. Yep. They come in for a dinner for two. If let's say the checks a hundred dollars, twenty-five dollars comes right off the bill. Nice. So they let them email me through the website, DinapolisStoneMill.com. Say, hey, Gene, I heard you on Karen Stacy's show. Want to come out? I'll send them a gift certificate. That's awesome. If you get the opportunity um, to, to post that on the, uh, on the feed, we're live on Facebook. Um, sure. That would be great. And this way, that's what I'm telling people to post. So, um, Wonderful. All right. Thank you again. I will do it. You got it. Great talking to you. Likewise, sweetheart. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. All right. That was Gene Dinopoli from the, now it's it was the Old Stone Mill. Um, he's a pretty great guy. And I always, they always say save the best for last, right? So um, we have to get my 19th favorite DJ on the phone. I know that we um we don't have so much time at this point but um we saved the best for last because uh my 19th favorite dj when he messages me and says i want to do the show i find a way to get him on so i am going to call anthony now and we will take it away Hello, Karen. Hello, Mr. Anthony. How are you? Your 19th favorite DJ My in the building. 19th favorite DJ, and, and I, I almost have it at the 19th hour over here. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. I can't wait to eat at Gene's spot. Oh, my God. I know. I'm like, my stomach was grumbling a little bit listening. I'm, I'm hungry. I know. Me Listen too. To what he was talking about. I know. I know. Well, wait, aren't you coming to New York? I'm coming to New York. Uh, I'm actually going to be in New York tomorrow night. Wow. See, maybe we could sneak Serge out. Serge can't wait. I know. <laughs> He's so excited. He's on his way to Florida. <laughs> He's so excited. I'm sure. I'm sure. So what are you coming to New York for? I'm coming to New York. Um, I'm playing. The, the big event is Tia's Halloween party with me and Miami Mike on Saturday. Uh-huh. Um, at venue in Yonkers, New York, my hometown. I'm so excited to play there. Um, it's my hometown, Yonkers, where I grew up. You know, that's where I was born and raised. You know, that's my 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 house. You know what I mean, Yonkers. 
Yep. So we're doing his Playboy themed Halloween party on Saturday. Are you? Uh, did you? I'm um, not to interrupt you, but you know she was on earlier, and she yeah, I was, listened to her. I've, I've been listening all night, Karen. Oh, okay. And um, so is she... I had it on. I had it on Alexa. Oh boy. On MiamiMikeRadio.com. Uh huh. And every once in a while, I came to the live feed. I didn't know Alexa could play. I don't know how to work Alexa. I, I, oh, I say I tell Alexa to play MiamiMikeRadio.com, and she does it. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Okay, I got to try that. Um, so uh, did you hear me when I said, because she came on, and she said she was on the phone with, with Frank, and then she told him, I got to go. Uh, Karen's calling. And I said, oh, that's like uh, Anthony always does the hashtag poor Frank. Oh, hashtag poor Frank. Right. And then he, I feel for that man. Right. Well, I think we all do. <laughs> yeah. But then, um, then she said she was talking about the attire, and she said that um, the men can, like, you know, she wanted Frank. She thinks he has a nice chest, so she wanted him to wear the robe with no shirt, and you know, like nothing. She said nothing underneath, and she might, you know, like no shirt. I said, don't tell them that because Mike and Anthony will be in a robe and be flashing everybody all night over there. Oh, okay. nobody wants to see me in a robe flashing anybody. That's that's one thing I guarantee. No, I mean, Mike's a different story. Oh God. We'll see what Mike's gonna wear. Oh, I said Mike should have been Ron Jeremy. <laughs> you know, that's the one with Come the on, big got... schlong, right? Mike's like I'm a Mike's like I'm not dressing up. <laughs> I mean, last year he dressed up. It was crazy. Oh when my he dressed God, up as. I know, and we all had his makeup on us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every, me too. I know. Everybody, I, at one point, my nose was white. I, God only knows what people thought. Because um, what, uh, what was he? Uh, like a vampire or something? What like was a he? Priest, a, a priest, devil priest double or something. Pr- he was, vampire yeah, was or something. And, yeah, and Mike, the makeup. Mike took that to a different level last year. Totally. But the makeup was awesome. But it, it came off on all of us. <laughs> yep. And hey, listen, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm getting to play with Mike on Saturday. I love, that's my brother. It's yeah. my family. You know what I'm saying? Me and him on Saturday night at venue. I mean, there's a lot going on on yes. Saturday. Yes, there is. You know, yep. there's, uh, there's Lori Ann's party. Yep. And Sal Batello's up yep. in Coliseum with Serge and Tony Sinappi. Which is, you know, there's the deep party with Frankie Mags and Noma. Right. A lot going on Saturday. Right. And the a lot good going thing, on. Well, what I was seeing when Tia was on is that, you know, they're not so far from each other. And, uh, Lori's party is much later on. So, you know, everybody could go to Yonkers first and, and hit New Rochelle and then go straight up to White Plains. You know, it's, it's yep. very doable. Or vice versa. Or, or go I, hit White Plains. And go well, hit, that's hit, later. Like, like Tracy Cat said to me, club yeah. hopping. But White Plains is later. That's the after show. So that's not going to happen until much later. Yeah, but later. the deep party, listen, the deep party will go late with that type of music. That's true. That's true. So that's yeah. going to go late. So then we could go. So maybe go from Yonkers to White Plains to New Rochelle. <laughs> Listen, I think it's a great, great thing that there's so many parties the same night in the same area. Yep. I mean, it used to be like that back in the day. You yep. know it. Absolutely. You know, there was so many places you could go to. You could go to different bars. Yep. You could go to clubs. You know, wind up at a, you know start at a few bars and go to a club. There was always a lot going on in Westchester County, and I think it's awesome. That that is happening on the same night. That we're bringing really that back. I, I, I'm I'm a supporter of that stuff. I'm, we're, listen, we're bringing I'm it from back. There and I think I think nightlife is one of the best things you have in life. Something it's, it gives you something to do. You know whether you're married or what you're whatever you're doing and and you know and, hey let's go out on Thursday like this Thursday me and Serge I must say this me and Serge our schedules are always whacked out right and when we get to play together. It's either planned well in advance or it's like something that's just popping up this Thursday, me and him are at Gigante. And with our schedule, it'll be the last time we play together this year. Oh, wow. And we've done some crazy events together this yeah. year, me and Serge. Yeah. We started out last year with like, what, birthday blowout. Right. You know, we started out with that and we played some crazy events this year. The, the comedy meets freestyle, a couple of those. I think we did three of those. Yeah. You know, we've done Gigantes a few times. We've done Noma a few times. We've done a lot of crazy events together, you know, in the last year. And, and this, you know, it, it's crazy because it's October. But our schedule won't combine together again until birthday blowout next year hmm. for yeah. us to play together. And anyone who's ever heard me and Serge play together, you know, that's a it's the music is just banging. And we give you any type of music you like to hear. 
you know, I love him. He's my brother. I love him with all my heart. There's going to be a lot of good music going on this weekend. Anyway, oh my God. Can. My God. I mean, yeah. you know, just a pick. I mean, where where to go and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I'll, I'm we're, we're at Venue in Yonkers, New York. Tia's, I mean, Tia always does an amazing Halloween party. She always goes over the top with yep. decorations. Yep. You know, and, and the whole thing and the theme. You know, her, her party starts at 8 o'clock at night. Yep. You know, her party starts at 8. Yep. You know, so it doesn't, it's not going to go till 4 in the morning. No, no. Her parties you know? are definitely early. And these other earlier. parties will go that late. So, Absolutely. you know, me and Mike, you know, we're going to be out after that. Right. We, we are out. Right. You know, we're going to go out and we're going to hang out. And we're going to enjoy our night. You know, we're in New York and, you know, and it's, it's you know, it, it's just an amazing thing that, like I said again, and I'll say this, that there's three really great parties in the same area on the same night for people to go to. Party on, dude. Party on. <laughs> You know, I think it's I think it's awesome. Where well, are you headed this weekend? I I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, but right. I think it's very exciting though because Mike doesn't always. Mike is usually the behind the scenes guy. He doesn't, you know. I mean, he obviously he, he usually plays, he usually hosts the party. Yes, and he usually plays on you know the radio. He does pop ups and stuff. But you know, on most of the events, I mean, he jumps in. But you guys are mostly there, so it's pretty cool that he's going to be like you know DJing on Saturday. Well, he's night. a. I mean, he's an amazing DJ. Absolutely. I mean, I, I we've we've done things in Florida. So yep. Mike is an amazing DJ. Like yep. like Mike is. Yep. And it's one of the first times it's me and Miami Mike. I, mean, I think it might be the very – well, no, we did stuff with, uh, in New York maybe the first time me and Mike ever together, just us. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, no, me too. You the know? music's definitely going to be off the you hook. You know, we've, we've done live stuff together with me and him. We vibe off each other. We, you know, the vibe is just, you know, amazing. You know, he's a great DJ. Yeah. You know, you see what he does. He does his, He did a, a live thing. I don't know if it was this week or last – I think it was last week. He did – a Facebook Live in the morning. Yes, I I heard. Man, that, that was bad. I was Playing listening. Some great music. That was after he you were on, and I was at the gym, and then he came on right after. Yes, that was that yes. morning. You we were texting. Right. You made a Facebook post yep. and said you were vibing to me. Yep. And then he switched it over to him and had music on. And then he went live. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was great. Yeah. You know, listen, I love Mike. Hugely talented man. I mean, he's, I mean, talented, multifaceted, talented. And we get to DJ together on Saturday. I'm so excited for that. Fine. I'm and, so excited for that. But now you also, besides all of, you know, Thursday night and Saturday night, you also well, have. Well, I, I want to say this about Friday. I am so honored. You know, listen, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that, I, you know, when you do a fundraiser, you know, it's never for a good, good cause. Like, it's never for a good. Not cause, but for a yeah, good reason. I know. Well, it's for you know, a good reason. If you're doing reason, a fundraiser, it means it, somebody got hurt or died yeah. or someone needs help. Right. You know, and in this case, um, a police officer who passed away. You know, we're doing this on uh, on Friday for Albert Lombardo's family. For We're doing, he passed away, you know, and we're doing this for his wife and his son. And let me tell you, I have to be very honest here. The response that I've gotten for this, I hope Fogarty's is ready for what's about to happen because they have their own, you know, what they do on their own, the people that have thrown this. Okay. But the people that I know that are coming, wow, I'm, I was shocked. I've, I've had like a, a few friends of mine that I went to Roosevelt with that aren't even police officers or fire or EMTs reach out. Oh, we're coming. We're coming. Can't wait to see you. I haven't seen these people in 30 years. And there's so many people like that and so many friends that I know that are coming to this event. You know, personal friends. We got tickets. We're coming. We can't wait. We're going to give them a great show. Me and Angie are playing the music. And we're definitely going to give them a great show. I mean, there's so many amazing. Karen, when I tell you for the 50-50 raffle stuff, Mm -hmm. oh, my God. There is some amazing, amazing things that you're going to win that you could possibly win there. Awesome. You know, there's some, I mean, a $450 watch. I mean, just the things I saw, a $150 wow. gift certificate to Giganti. You wow. know, big up shout out to Lou Giganti for doing that. My boys from Wooden Fire, bang, banging gift certificate to, to Wooden Fire. You know, and I asked, these are my friends. And the same with Noma, like Colby, right away. Yes. Um, 
Frank Carenza, wooden fire. Yes, absolutely. Lou Gigante, done. You know what I mean? Yes. Like those guys are, you know, you ask these people for, for things and, and, you know, I don't ask for anything unless it means something. Sure. And this means something to me. Um, Serge, originally it started out on the 4th of July part that me and Serge did. Okay. We played in a, a backyard, 4th of July. Yes. And they, the person who hosted the party raffled off a big screen TV to the people at the party for this family. And I was like, listen, if you ever need, you, you know, if you're ever doing a fundraiser, you're doing something, please put me on. I, I'm 100% in. Let me do it. I, I will DJ it for free. And it just so happened it's it's this weekend. Serge is working. So Serge is like, yo, you down? I'm like 100% down. And as soon as I put the post up, Aunt G, Anthony Grimaldi reached out and was like, yo, I'll do this with you. I was like, you have equipment. You could do all your supply and all the equipment, all the lights, the gear. Absolutely. So I was like, all right, we're covered. And that's how it happened. And I'm honored to do it. I'm honored to play there. I know so many people coming. Um, I put a post up the other day about I need one, a Yonkers police officer actually messaged me in my Instagram or DM me, whatever the hell you call that. Right. And said, uh, he saw my, my YPD shirt. He's like, it looks kind of old. I'm going to bring you some shirts. Aww. And I was like, okay, large. So I put a post up the other day and like, you know, I'll, I'll wear the fire shirts, whatever, whatever they are. I mean, I'm honored to wear those shirts. I mean, the, the people who, who, you know, are our first responders, the police, the fire, the EMTs, those people are, you know, our backbone in this country. Uh-huh. And I'll always be honored to wear their shirts. Absolutely. I'll always be honored to wear their shirts. And, and, you know, it's just something that means a lot to me. You know, a police officer who passed away and left a wife and a kid, it means a lot to me to, to help help them. You know, I, I try to do – whenever I can do something right, you know, I try to do it. And big up shout to Angie, Anthony Grimaldi. You know, all the equipment's provided by him. He's donating his services. I'm donating mine, and we're all doing it for, for DJ Surge Entertainment because, you know, he can't be there, and, you know, he has to work. So – that's how it all started, and I'm very honored about Friday night. I'll be very honest with you. That's awesome. I hope you can get out Friday night. Come say hello. Yes, I will try. You, you know, it's 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 it ha- it's not that easy for me, but I will do my best. But I, I certainly uh, commend you and and support. And hopefully, anybody listening tonight uh, will make it down to now. Just tell everybody where that is, Aunt. It's at Fogarty's in Bronxville, New York. It's right near. Uh, it's funny because I, I went to. The Starbucks, I think it's called Starbucks. Yeah. With with Louis Nutrella yes. right on the corner. Yes, that's the big Starbucks. Everybody sits outside. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, it's right there. Um, I went 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 to meet Louis at Starbucks one night, and, and it was like, Star- I'm not a coffee guy. I'm not doing any of that stuff. And uh, it was me, Haney, and Felice, Louis Nutrella, and we um, I was like, okay, we're done here. Let's go to Fogarty's and have a beer. Uh huh. You know, then me and me, Haney and Infelice wound up in City Island, you know, having <laughs> sick ass food and drinks. You know, it's just it's just how it goes. When You know, listen, I love being in New York. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I wish I was back there living there, you know, in my own weird way. You know, and I love being in New York and I love being around my friends. And look, today's Tina DeMeo's birthday. Yeah. Happy you birthday, know, I up, Tina. I, yes. Yes. After Karen's done tonight from 1030 to midnight, I'm going to play for uh, Tina's birthday. How can I not play on her birthday? There you go. You know, so I'm going to play some music and, you know, just just the pictures I found today and looked around for pictures to put on my Facebook. You know, just so many people and so many different things. And, you know, she's a great human being. You know, I love being around her. I really love being around her. And. I was like, how can I not play? I'm, listen, her, her real birthday party is Saturday at Coliseum. That's right. You yes. Well, lo- f- yes. Lori Ann's party and yep. Salvatore's party. It's Saturday yep. night at Coliseum. Yep. You know, I can't be there. I'm not going to be the DJ. So I figured, you know what? Today's her birthday. Today it might mean something, and I'll play tonight for her and birthday. And listen, let me tell you something, Anthony. It's so disgusting here. I'm listening to the rain outside, I mean, which is great to go to sleep to. I know. But I heard you in the beginning. Yeah, it stinks. So, you know, it'll brighten up. I, I, all of us that are here in this gloomy, cold, rainy night, you will brighten up. Great. Uh, Thank you that I have to go come to that tomorrow. Yeah, well. You know, it, I, don't, I don't mind that. Listen, I, I grew up there, so I know. 
I think Once it's it going to be October, okay, though. the gray sky. But no, no I think it's going to be okay. I think just today is going to be shitty, and I think the rest is going to be okay. It's it's supposed to be halfway decent uh, in the 60s for the next couple of days, so it, it shouldn't be too terrible. Nice. Just nice. Tonight. I'm bringing a jacket anyway. Yeah, well, you know, you're Floridian blood. You will be a little cold. I'm definitely bringing a jacket. Yeah. Bring my MMR jacket that Roro got me for my birthday. Aw, there you go. I'll bring my MMR jacket. I'll sport that all weekend. Proud. I'm for, Listen, I'm proud to be on my Miami Mike Radio. Absolutely. I got a lot of, not to say this in a cocky or a weird way, I got a lot of offers to play on a lot of other these internet stations and other different radio stations, stuff like that. It's okay, you know. I, I'm. I don't need that in my life. I've done what I needed to do regarding that, and I'm good where I am. Right. You know, it's my house. Right. It's our house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mama. I love you. All right, I so love you too. So tomorrow night, not tomorrow. Thursday night, me and Serge. Last time this year at Giganti. Together. Big up, Shalu Giganti, um, and Drana. Friday night. Seriously. If anyone come out Friday night and support this family, it means a lot. No one gets paid. So if anyone thinks anyone's getting paid or anything, nobody. And G is donating all the equipment and his services. I donate all mine. And every single dime that goes into that building, I don't know what Fogarty's is giving back, and I'm sure they're going to give something back. But every single dime that's raised that night goes directly to the family. No one no one has their hand in any pot on, on, on Friday. And it's a huge... Listen, the response is amazing for Friday. And Saturday, the big event for me and Mike this weekend, Tia's uh, Playboy Halloween party. I can't wait to see Frank as Hugh Hefner. I really hope he would do that. Mike says he's not dressing up, but, uh, you know, I, I you know, I, I put a post up about, you know, maybe we should see what he should dress up as. I thought Ron Jeremy, you know, <laughs> you know. You know, you got to keep him intact. You got to keep that. You got to keep that whole thing going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, I missed the I missed the pussy crook. Uh, okay. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I love you. Love you too, Karen. Sweetie. Hope I see you this weekend. Yes. I don't care where or when. Just for a minute, say hello, and thank you for letting me come on tonight. I asked. I actually texted Karen and asked if I come on tonight and okay. um, promote the weekend. I said especially for Friday. I mean, everybody knows what's going on on Saturday, and, and you know, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's that's all. I'll go out and have a good time. Club hopping this there weekend. You go. There you go. Hoppity hop, hop. hop. <laughs> yep. What'd Make you say? Sure, I said hoppity hop, hop. Everybody made Bingo. sure they got they got uh, comfy shoes. That's all. Uh, Bingo. Because <laughs> everybody's going to be dancing their asses off. Their asses off. Everyone's going to be dancing their asses off. That's it. <laughs> all right, Mike, dear. I love you. All right. Thank love you, you too. And you're coming on at, at 1030, 1030, right? Tonight, we're doing something special for Tina DeMayo, MiamiMikeRadio.com. All right. I'm going to just, I, I'm already 10 minutes over, so I am going to tell everybody about our shows, and then I will be handing it over to you, my love. All right. I love you, girl. Love you, too. Bye, Karen. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. All righty. So, this was some show, huh? I mean, it just all pulled together. Again, I totally apologize. I know we got booted off of the last feed, but we're back on this one. Um, tonight show, promo show, trying to give back to you guys and uh, let everybody know what type of business you are in. If you are listening and are live on my Facebook feed, please feel free to upload your business card or your website so that people know who you are and where to find you. And I'm always looking for fun businesses and people for my show. So feel free to reach out to me if you would like to be on the show. Um, I just want to remind you guys of all of our shows on MiamiMikeRadio.com. So Mondays we have uh, the Tech House with DJ Luke from 12 to 2. And then the ride home with the Portuguese Prince um, and his co-host Donna from 6 to 9. The first of every month, Mind Candy Mondays with DJ Rob Mush from 9 to 11. And we send much love out to Rob uh, and, and hope that he gets well soon. Um, Tuesdays, we have uh, the afternoon lunch mix with DJ Steve Simply Nice from 1 to 3. And then, of course, we have Real Talk with Karen Stacy every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Wednesdays, we have Classics with Mike Maletta. 
uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. And the Mayhem Loyal Listeners Show with Hamilton Czar and May May at 8 p.m. Thursdays is the Traffic Jam with DJ Michael Anthony from 4 to 6. And where am I? It was Thursday, Fridays. We have Friday night sessions with DJ Simply Nice from 8 to 10. And then uh, Friday night sessions with uh, Tony Sanapi from 10 to 12. Saturdays, DJ Ghazi from 8 to 10 p.m. Saturday night dance party with the one and only Anthony Mangini that was just on the phone with me, my 19th favorite DJ. Sundays is the classic mix with DJ Mike Maletta. And, um, you know, we always have pop-ups, just like Anthony just said, he's he's doing a pop-up right now uh, at 1030 for Tina DeMeo's uh, birthday party. So always check in on MiamiMikeRadio.com. We have live uh, DJs on most of the time. I am the only talk show that is on every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Thank you again for tuning in. Sharing is caring. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. See you next week.